Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're speaking about Manchester United winning 3 1 in the third round of the FA Cup against Everton. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Manchester United 3, Everton 1 in the FA Cup as we advance to the fourth round. Goes from Anthony, a Connor Cody OG, and Marcus Rashford from the penalty spot secured this victory. But the game was a lot closer than the scoreline suggests in the end. But before we get into this game, it's time for question of the day. And today, 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 we have an interesting question. Now, next game, Carabao Cup opponents, Charlton Athletic. My question to you in the comment section below is what was the scoreline of the last fixture between Manchester United and Charlton Athletic? No Google, I'm watching you. Back to business. So we took the lead after a few minutes due to good work first by Anthony Martial who fights through a few challenges and finds Marcus Rashford out on the left wing. Danger signs for Everton with the form that he's been in recently. Red Hot takes on Ben Godfrey, finds a bit of space down the line and crosses it across the face of the goal where Anthony just slides out of foot, back post, open goal, 1-0 United. Great start. I would say after that point, Cappy, Manchester United didn't do a good job of managing the pace of the game let me know what you think about that in the comment section and it showed before and after that bizarre Connor Cody equalizer originally came from a free kick just in our half and as it was cleared away and headed back towards the box Onana outstrips Casemiro who absolutely goes flying by the way the ball gets played down the line into Neil Morpé he slides across the ground and kicks the ball in the direction or into the direction of David De Gea. And what happens after that is even more strange because looking back at it multiple times, the ball just seems to bubble through the legs of De Gea, giving Connor Cody a chance to just tap it in over the line. He seemed to switch off and the mistake was costly at the time if United didn't respond the way that they did. Thanks. The low after the game spoke about a conversation him and De Gea had at half time where David De Gea admitted he didn't expect the ball to go through his legs. Now, I don't really know what to say about that statement there. Let me know once again in the comment section below what you thought of the mistake. But yeah, um, yeah the low even to be fair to him admitted that his reaction time should have been a little quicker. To react to the mistake and, and try and make sure that Connor Cody, Connor Cody, Connor Cody wasn't the first one to get there. And look, it was a bad mistake. These things happen in the game of football every single week we see it. But it's always nice to see a level of accountability after the game, after the mistake is made to show that you recognize it, you can take the positive from it and move forward and make sure these things don't happen on a regular basis. United second came from a sweet switch of play. Christian Eriksen to Rashford out on the left wing. This time he's up against Seamus Coleman of Veterano. Makes him backpedal a little bit, cuts back, then swiftly changes direction to open up that bit of space. Left foot cross on the ground once again and unfortunately for Connor Cody, the ball bounces off the studs of his boots as he tried to anticipate the potential danger behind him. The only thing Marcus was missing up to this point was a goal. And it came right on the full time whistle basically. Everton towards the end had to go for it push bodies forwards and we caught them on the counter attack once again with Bruno Fernandes unleashing Alejandro Garnacho who drives into the box and gets tripped up by Ben Godfrey. He was charging back. Penalty given and Marcus dispatches Corey 
a couple minutes later. One thing I will acknowledge is that there were moments of fear in that second half, especially when Everton thought they had their equaliser before it got choked off by VAR as Damari Gray's foot was a little beyond the last defender. Nice counter-attack on their part, by the way. Seamus Coleman, Damari Gray, Dominic Calvert-Loon, who came on as a sub, were all involved. And also, I think Seamus Coleman had a shot saved by David De Gea a little before that, possibly. But nonetheless, United are through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. And I believe the draw will be on Sunday at 10.30pm UK time. Hold up! Wait a minute, because it looks like Cappy's been spreading some false information. Now, I don't know what kind of website he was looking on, but I know I'm looking at the FA, and they're saying the draw is going to take place at 4.05 p.m. GMT, which is UK time. 4.05 p.m. GMT before the Manchester City and Chelsea game. And funny enough, you should be seeing this episode on Sunday. So be sure to hit a like and subscribe if you're new. But before we end this episode, it's time to reveal the answer to the question of the day. Roll the clip. What was the scoreline of the last fixture between Manchester United and Charlton Athletic? If you talk here, like on a bit, subscribe to the channel, you respect the tweet. Now back to the video, answer the thing and hop in the chat. Don't question time. Question time. So, how did you fare in this week's question of the day? On the 10th of February, 2007 was the last time Manchester United and Charlton faced each other. It was a Premier League fixture where the league leaders won 2-0 courtesy of goals from Jason Park and Darren Fletcher. If you got the answer correct, slap a 1 in the chat. If you use Google, put a 2 in the chat. And oh, I know! If you use Google, if you didn't even bother putting in an answer, slap a free in the chat at least. Come on, get involved next time. What are you thinking? Anyway, we've reached the end of that episode. Thank you to everybody who's come across this video. Please be sure to hit a like and subscribe if you're new. Only if you enjoy. Only if you enjoy. And share to your friends and frenemies. CM should be back for the Stay United Watch Along game between Man United and Charlton in the Carabao Cup. Good opportunity there to advance. So let's see if we'll be able to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. We will be back for a review after the Charlton game. But until then, we'll see you a lot sooner.